I'm Darva Gadami. This is CrossFit 424. We're here in Harlow, Essex, and this is our new CrossFit box. It was so important for us, previous to opening our box, that we would be able to have a close community, a community that you see all across CrossFit gyms all across the country that we've been to and that we've seen. Now we wanted to have our own and it's a very kind of individual feel to each box you go to. And we felt like there was an opportunity here in Essex, in Harlow, to have a gym where we could kind of replicate that but put our own kind of mark on it. And we've got a nice smallish venue here with some really great people in it a great community that helps set this place up. And that's what I think is great about CrossFit is that actually the building that we had has been made into what it has with the help of people who are now our members and who have been CrossFitters and who we've been really close with and been on holiday with. And that's something that we want to really take forward. And because of the time that we opened during lockdown, and we've obviously had our lockdown restrictions since, we've not been able to kind of go through that kind of social feeling that you get and the, 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 you know, the outings and, and, and the events that you do outside of the wads that you do in that intense hour. That's what it's all about, sure, but that community is really important for us. On top of that, we wanted to make sure that we are accessible physically, that we have a good venue, but also that we have the, great, the greatest equipment that we could get. Make sure that we have everything that we want to make sure that people are, are using the best stuff that they can use, that it's safe, and also that we use our space well. Things like the rig, things like how we store stuff, and also how the the floor, the wad floor flows in a workout, and also how the wads themselves and our, our programming is written so that we can use our space in the best possible way and use our, everybody's time in the best possible way. We feel like this rig that we've got is really our centerpiece. We've got room for rope climbs, for the, for the ring muscle-ups, for the muscle-ups. We, we've had workouts where everybody has been on the rig. Everybody that's in the class is on the rig at once. And that's what we wanted. We wanted the space to be used in the most efficient way possible. So we went to Wolverson and we said, this is our space, come and have a look. They came down, they had a little measure up with us, they went through our options, they created a computer design so we could see what it would look like 3D. Um, and they played about with their options. It's like bespoke, it's like that kind of Meccano set stuff that they could, we could actually put it together in the way we wanted to. And we wanted to use every inch of space in the best way possible. When you've got a relatively, relatively smallish space, it's really important that you use it effectively. Um, and what Wolverson did was they really helped us to design something that would allow us to do that. So we've got room both sides of our rig for things like wall balls, handstand walks and the rope, rope climbs. We've got room outside of that for muscle ups and inside we've got room for muscle ups as well. And we've got really high rigs for our tall guys, really low rigs for our short people and for when we're scaling and things like that. It was a very exciting day when we got this in. You want to go to one place if you can, one stop shop and try and get everything from somewhere. But I think it's really important to get hands on with it. And having gone through a lot of CrossFit gyms around the country, you do get to use a lot of different equipment. You get to use different types of stuff from different makes all across the board. What I think you really need is people that have a real understanding of what it is your gym wants for, for stars, best use of space in our case as well. And also understanding that as a brand new gym, you want to open up with, with at the very least, the good quality basics that you can build on if you want to build on it later. So good, honest advice is the first thing. Second thing is, which was really important for us, was that opportunity to actually go, which we could do at the time, and have a look at some of the equipment. And we drove up uh, to Wolverson, which is quite the journey, as you know, and went up there and had a look at some of the equipment. Because you know you can have kit lists and price lists, and you could even use stuff in other people's gyms, or you can, you can see pictures of stuff, or even some of your favorite athletes using some of the equipment. But until you actually feel it and then have a little go yourself, then you don't really know. So we went up and we had a look at some of the equipment. We, we had a, a throw around a little bit of weight, had a look at the different matting. It's all this important stuff that you kind of take for granted. It's under your feet when you go into a gym, but this has all been thought through. You know, um, It's very important to have that right flooring so that you can throw your weight around a little bit when you're, when you're in the wads. And, and, and stuff that you can build upon. Um, so we had a look at all, our, all, all the options that we had. Uh, and we had a, Jordan did a slideshow for us looking at all the uh, options for our rig because it already had some measurements done. We had a look at everything from, from, from kind of uh, the different wall balls to the different styles of kettlebells, to the different styles of bumper plates. All those little things that were, that were really important to us because we know as CrossFitters how important those things can be. You know, it's, if you don't do it yourself, you could kind of say, oh, it's just, it's just a rig, right? It's just a, it's just a bar. It's, it's never just anything. You need to be, it's just, just a box. There's something about them. They look like they'll catch you because they've got that nice little kind of, that kind of hexagonal grip going across it. 
Um, and they just, they're, they're really quite sexy. We love them. So we got to use them, we got to get hands on with them. That was a really important part of the process for us. And then we could sit down and discuss how many of things we needed. Also little things like, okay, we might not buy this now, but if you're at the other end of the phone, if you need stuff. Um, and that was really important for us because there are a million things to think about when you're opening a new gym. If you have an understanding of what something like CrossFit can provide you, it's beyond just paying a membership and going to a gym. And really the best way to find out what, what is beyond it is to go, is to try. And that's the same with anything, like, you know, like with, with a product, when you're buying things from Wolves, for example, you don't have, here's a product, goodbye, you have a relationship after that. And it, it's something to build on. You know, it's, it's something that you've invested in. It's an investment rather than just a purchase, if that makes sense. If a company or a cares or is full of people that work for them who care, then that is so much more valuable than just getting a product, bye-bye. You know, you've got your product, off you go. It's, 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 it's kind of like the aftercare feel. I feel like you, you, you've bought more than just a product. You, you've bought into a kind of a, a system, a design, a group of people, or even an ethos of people that you, you, that you feel like is beneficial to you. And I think that is so important. It's like you wouldn't, like, like things that are important to you, you wouldn't just go for the, the cheapest or you wouldn't just go for the most expensive saver by you. What you look for is what's beyond that. You look for the, the, the aftercare is so important. It's really, it's really helped us, it's really paid off. Decent bumper plates and bars was a massive thing for us. And along with that actually was the flooring that we needed. Good quality flooring that was going to protect our floor and protect our equipment. And that's a really important thing, that flooring. It's a, it's a, an investment, but one that you need to make to make sure that you've got the best possible base for your box. It's not something that you could just change easily, as you know. Um, so that was our next thing. So where we're building, it's almost like your foundation, getting that the, the, the proper matting in your the flooring in your gym for something like CrossFit. And then you can build on top of that your, the quality of your bars and your bumper plates and, and, and so on. So that was the next big thing for us. Um, They've got to kind of look cool as well, right? Because that's important. And But they've got to be functionally what you want from a bar. Having used it, you know, everything works well. They're easy to maintain. Um, they look good. Uh, they last and they can be thrown around a bit as well. And, you know, things like how the how the hooks work on, on, on I mean, they were a really important thing for us as well. Those J hooks on the, uh, on the rigs. So that when we're doing stuff off the racks, um, bench and things like that, and how that would affect the bars, um, yeah, so it, and, and all that put together, obviously, it affects your whole CrossFit experience, your whole workout experience. So we wanted it to all work as best as, po as best way as possible. I want them to enjoy playing with the new toys, playing with the stuff, learning, getting those first pull-ups, muscle-ups, rope climbs, box jumps, all those things that we want people to achieve and feel great about. And they're only going to do that if they feel like they're using the good stuff and hopefully they'll get that feeling when they come back. It feels like we've got a really personal experience for us. We use, you know, we have first name terms with people, they know who we are. We're physically, geographically, quite a long way away from where you're based, but that doesn't mean a thing in this day and age. It feels like we're very close. Um, we are always kept in the loop. If ever there's an issue, it's email, telephone, texting, whatever, has been really useful for us. Because there's plenty to do with our running a gym, even when things have been quiet like they have been. There's plenty of sorting out to do, members to chase up. We're, we're making adjustments to the building, trying to make it as best as it possibly can be. Um, but we've always had a very positive experience. Otherwise, we wouldn't come back, to be honest. We, we, I think, we, I think it, it's that thing that you've got to accept when you're trying to do business, you know, when there are lots of options out there, is that you have to feel, you have to feel valued. You have to feel like you've got a relationship with the people you're working with. Otherwise, you won't retain it, it won't continue. CrossFit has an, an incredible kind of unifying thing, whether it's a kind of, uh, it, it's experience of something that's happening at the time, for example, like the Open, or it's just experience of the fact that you've done it, even if you've done it a handful of times, there is an understanding. And I think that's kind of, it breaks down a lot of barriers when you meet people. And just when you enter a good gym, you can tell. You get good and bad of everything. When you enter a good CrossFit gym, you feel welcome. And you feel like that you, it's got your best interests at heart and you don't feel nervous instantly, you feel at ease. So you know, you're introduced, suddenly everyone knows your name and you kind of your best mates with people for an hour at least, and hopefully beyond. And that's the very best thing about 424 is I feel like that's the thing that we're aiming for all the time, is to make sure that our, mem our members are achieving so that they feel good about themselves and they share that with each other in that community. You get a lot of people saying, oh, I couldn't do that. I mean, you get everybody from every walk of life, from every background, from every ability or disability coming into a CrossFit gym and excelling and becoming better as people and having the great, greatest time. And that's what I think I like most. And we have that here at 424 and I hope that we just have more and more of that going forward.